All right, so guys, so as you can see, I've removed those busted old dirty headlights. That's it. Half the internet is saying by a revision G. I've checked, the one that's on the car is a revision D. No, no, do the intro. <laughs> Go on. Yes, no, guys. Next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. I tried to get my guy Donald to do the intro for you lot, but he's feeling a bit shy today. Anyway, we are back on the high mileage, highly modified VW Golf Mark 5. And if you saw the last episode, you'll know why I'm so happy. We have got this car absolutely flying, and I am happy. And now that the engine trouble is in the past, it's now time to move on with the bodywork side of things. I want to get this car looking in tip-top condition. Firstly, these headlights. These headlights were very, very, very cloudy. And in previous episodes, I went ahead and did a refurb on them. But guys, because this is the GTI, I went ahead and I got a fresh set. These are looking 110%. They're the projector star. They've got an LED running straight down there. And we're going to be putting these on the car, wiring them up, and we're going to make all of this stuff look 110%. So, roll on the episode. Alright you guys, so as you can see I've removed those busted old dirty headlights and I'm going to be fitting these bad boys. If you remember the car came with this head kit, um, the HID kit, so what I've done I've removed the bulbs from that came, it actually came with new bulbs. I've removed those and I've fitted in the HID bulbs right there um, and I've done the additional modification which is just cut a little slot in there, put the bulbs in and all I need to do now is connect the plus and the negative from the head kit to the plus and the negative from the light. I've already identified those and I've cut them off right there. Plus a negative, plus a negative. Connect them all up and then these can go on the car. So let's solder them all up and put them on. Everything new. You get me? Yeah, it feels nice when you've got everything new.
Okay guys, look at the finished product. Black on the inside, we got the rings, we got the day running lights at the bottom, and I also fitted that head kit, and these headlights look a million, million times better. If any one of you are watching this, and you've got a Mark V Golf, and you wanna get these, I'll link them in the description down below, just to help you out. Whilst you're at it, have a look. Donald is just taking off the GTI badge. This badge here, this grill here was looking all beat up, all tired, have a look at it all broken and I didn't want to put that back on the car so for 50 quid I went ahead and I got a replacement one and all I got to do is refit this VW badge like so give it a little twist hold on there you go is it no that's it and that is gonna go onto the car Alright you guys, so it's the next morning here and those new headlights, they performed a treat. I took the car to Southampton to pick up this bad boy actually, I'll show it to you. You remember I told you the story about the exhaust that I bought on eBay? Well yesterday morning I was chilling and I saw it came back up, this time I didn't waste any time. I bought it, I paid for it, I went down last night and I got it. Have a look. It's a complete Miltech, so it's not like a copy or R32 style. It's a Miltech complete catback system. It's gonna need a lot of fabrication to make it work because I know for a fact on the R32 it comes off this angle and it goes to the right, but on the GTI it needs to come off. It needs to come off this angle and go to the left. So we're gonna have to cut, twist. There's a lot of fabrication. We'll figure it out once we're fitting that to the car. Another thing is, this is the head kit that came with the car. These are H7 bulbs, and the head kit is a smart system head kit. Um, so it's, a, it's actually quite a nice one. However, I wasn't happy with the light output. So I went ahead and I ordered some LED bulbs, and the output on these are a lot higher. Um, it's the newer technology, and there's just no bulk. Have a look, there's just no bulk at the back here. And have a look at that. The output of these headlights are crazy, crazy bright. Now, one of the things that I need to do though, is if you look at the moment, the headlights are on because they're, um, I've got the ignition on, they're set to auto mode, so the headlights are on. But the rings and the day running lights, I want them to be on as soon as the engine comes on and not the light. So what I've done is I've disconnected them from the loom and I've wired them in a sequence. So I've got all of those ones running off of this one wire now. What I need to do is tap into any sort of ignition source so that as soon as the ignition comes on, it's going to give power. And I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So guys, have a look at that. The ignition is off, obviously, and the headlights are off. But if I take this, they're already linked up to the negative. This is just the positive wire. If I give it positive, you can see as soon as that blue wire that I've done gets power, a 12 volt source, you're going to have the rings and the day running lights rings and day running lights so they're all married up now all i need to do is find an ignition power source i don't want to find a constant just the ignition power source and then i can tap that blue wire into the ignition and that means that every time the ignition is on i'll have day running lights but have a look at that i think they look very smart i'm happy with them i'm sure some of you guys are going to disagree let me know what you think in the comments down below but yeah i really like that look so guys, I'm going to be giving away this HID kit if you've got a Mark V Golf or if you've got any vehicle that carries H7s, these are H7 bulbs. So any vehicle that carries H7 bulbs, if you want to get these, all you need to do is subscribe to Salvage Nation, leave a comment down below saying what you're going to do with these, I'm going to choose one at random and I'm going to post these out to you free of charge. Simple as that. It's free every step of the way. Subscribing is free. Leaving a comment is free and I'm going to post these out to you courtesy of Salvage Nation. Right, let's get these headlights wired up.
Alright you guys, so it's about a month later and I've been away, we've done so many things in that time and I've been daily driving this car and the power feels great. With the addition of the projector style headlights, those rings look amazing and now that I've added the LED bulbs, trust me, it lights up so much better than the original lights and I'm happy with that. Let me know what you think of the new headlights in the comments down below. But, like the title of the video says, which one should I fit? And when I speak of which one, I'm going to explain to you. One of the big issues with the Mark V GTIs is the diverter valve. They use the really rubbish design on the diverter valve and then you leak boost and then when you leak boost you lose power. So I went ahead and I did a bit of research and half the internet is saying buy a revision G. I've checked, the one that's on the car is a revision D. This is a revision G. If you don't know the differences, I'm not going to explain, just go check them out. This is the latest revision from the manufacturers and this is meant to be good. But then I was told, go get a Go Fast Bits and I'll show you what it looks like. These guys make a billet type piston diverter valve and I was told that this is the best thing. But then once again, I bought both of them and I'm a bit confused because I'm seeing mixed reviews on both sides. Some people say, forget the Revision G, go for the Go Fast Bits. Some people are saying, forget the Go Fast Bits, go for the Revision G. I don't know. You let me know which one you think I should do and whatever you lot say. I'm sure some of you guys know a lot more about the GTI engines than I do. For today, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to put on the Go Fast Bits one because this cost me 100 quid. This one, I bought this brand new as well. This is the Revision G. This cost me 65 quid. So I spent quite a lot of money here and I don't know which one to choose. So you let me know what you think I should do. But I want to get this on the car um, and take it out in the snow. See if we can have a bit of fun and then we can start to wrap up. Alright guys, so in a very peculiar position, underneath the car is this. This is the revision deep diverter valve that I removed from the car just now. When you lift your foot off the pedal and there's excess boost, this valve releases and recirculates that excess boost back into the boosting system, back into the turbo. Um, that's what I know of it. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, correct me. Um, but that's the revision D and I'm told that there's a rubber membrane on the inside of this that always breaks. This is the revision G and as you can see, they've changed the complete design of it from this one to this one. But these guys from Go Fast Bits have made it even better. This is what they have said on their original website. So it comes with this billet top section, rubber ring, you've got this copper piston and it comes with these extra bolts that are long. But this is what I'm going to put on the car. If I am wrong and I should put the revision D or G, let me know. But for now, all you need to do is, if I put the camera down, I'm going to use this one and you literally just pop that off like so. And once I've popped that off, I'll store all of these for later. Leave the spring in its place. And this is the new piston from the Go Fast Bits kit. Pop that piston inside. And then let me get some lubricant. They always say on the internet you have to lubricate it. And one of the issues is apparently the lubrication dries out around this piston and it sticks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bit of engine oil, lubricate this piston, lubricate that piston, assemble everything and get it on the car. Okay guys, we are cooking with gas. Yeah. Let's go out and see what this thing say now man. So there you have it guys, this thing is absolutely ripping. 
We've got the new headlights on there. We've got that new diverter valve on there. Let me know which one you think I should use. I've got all three. I've got the diverter valve from Go Fast Bits. I've got the Revision D and G. If you know about them, let me know which one you think I should do. In the next episode on this one, we'll be taking care of all the bodywork. I'm going to be retrofitting the R32 rear end with a complete custom Miltech R32 exhaust. And then we're going to be finishing off this car. And that's it. This car is going to be 100% completed. I might do a few more mods in the future. I don't know. But you let me know if you want to see more content on this car. But this is where we're going to head off. So like I always say, keep it moving. And I'll see you in the next one. Guys, thank you for watching. Click here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch. Click here to watch one of my previous episodes. And like it said there, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. We out.